Hi, uh, my name is Zach Golden. Uh, I am a uh, filmmaker. Uh, I, my my film group is called Golden Guy Pictures. If you haven't seen the uh, the banners on my YouTube, and uh, as of right now, I'm currently in the process of producing my my very own Star Wars fan film. Uh, my team and I have been working very hard uh, over the last several months, and uh, oh, voice crack. <laughs> Uh, um, we've been working very hard over the last couple of months. Uh, we're looking at a uh, release date somewhere in May of 2021. And, uh, one of the things that, uh, really inspired me was the, uh, the fan-made productions that other people have done. Um, you know, great films like, uh, the Vader fan film by Star Wars Theory, uh, Mall Apprentice and uh, others like A Twelve Parsec Stare, just great uh, fan-made Star Wars productions, and uh, I thought it'd be fun if uh, we uh, watched, you know, watched some of them, uh, reacted to them. I've seen m most Star Wars fan films by now, so my reactions might be pretty limited. But what I really want to do is kind of dive in and uh, and break them down, uh, uh, talk about them. And, uh, and then rank them uh, based on uh, my own personal opinions, what I, what I know about film. Uh, and so essentially how I'll be ranking them is uh, we'll be talking about cinematography, uh, uh, you know, how, the, how the film looks. Uh, I'll be looking at uh, directing, how the actors uh, bounce off of each other, how they manifest the screen. Um, and then... Uh, acting uh, how are the actors performing their characters are they doing it appropriately uh are they missing the mark or are they you know deserving of an oscar uh, uh editing uh, how the the fan films are being spliced and put together uh to ultimately make up what is that uh film and uh and then finally uh we'll be looking at the what i call the star wars factor and essentially what that means is uh, how does it hold up in terms of uh, Star Wars lore and uh, we'll be looking at it from the perspective of both legends and canon uh, because some fan films uh, are adapted into canon while others are leaning more towards legends and so we'll be talking about how accurate uh, these fan films would be uh, to Star Wars and uh, if it uh, if if it matches uh, the the standard that uh, Star Wars films should be. Uh, so uh, with that said, uh, we'll be watching Darth Maul Apprentice, uh, a Star Wars fan film. And and by the way, uh, I don't I don't want to come up here and uh, pretend I'm on some kind of pedestal. Uh, I'm just a fan like everybody else. Uh, I've got some films on my channel if you want to look at them and and review them and nitpick them then by all means have fun you have my consent uh uh so you know to start off i just want to say like if you've got a star wars fan film and you want me to review it talk about it let me know in the comments if there's a fan film that you want me to watch uh let me know and uh yeah i think this will be fun so uh without further ado let's uh let's watch some fan films He looks, he looks just like him. arrogance and limited by compassion, they choose to deny the true nature of the Force. That hate Makeup and prosthetics is very impressive. Very soon you'll be strong enough and 
vengeance will be ours. But until then, our presence must be kept hidden. We cannot let them know what we are planning. You must protect our secrets at all costs. Closer to the source of the signal. I can feel it. Very good. Wait! I think there's something else here. He's like so aggressive. He has the he has the movements down very well. PewDiePie. It cannot be. Costume design and makeup is very well done. We must inform the council. There is no time. We have to deal with it ourselves. Everyone focus. Don't let him get away. I would add visual effects and and uh, makeup prosthetics to the ranking system, but you know, just be. Just because you have those things doesn't mean you're going to put something great together. And, uh, you know, some people just can't afford to have those luxuries, but they can, you know, make great films. So, uh, I excluded those from, from the raking system for that purpose. This guy's like Mortal Kombat looking... Character design is is really cool. It's difficult to put together a really good lightsaber duel just between two people, let alone four or five.
crazy. But we can't defeat him. We have to retreat. If we let him escape, it could mean the end for all of us. You have to trust me. Okay. The girl isn't very limber. She seems very stiff. Imagine going like a thousand years, not even hearing word of Sith, and then one day just finding one. Let us leave. We already lost too much. We can get him. Don't be afraid, my young apprentice. I will protect you. Come. I can understand the desperation, but I mean, come on. If they would have went back to the temple and uh, told the council about Maul, Star Wars probably would have played out a lot differently. Parkour! I don't think it's a coincidence he's got uh, Qui-Gon's hilt. I see what they did there. I don't think we've ever I don't think we've ever seen a kill like that in Star Wars. It's just chunks of them. She kind of looks like Rey. Girl, you better run. Oh, she's not happy now. what happens when you're fighting in sand. It's cool and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. So I don't blame her for being upset. Look at that. She's probably got sand all in her boots.
Come on. She just doesn't fight very flowy. She's just very stiff. Like she forgot to stretch. Always stretch before you fight Sith Lords. And she got sand all in her uniform. See, that shows how powerful Maul is. He didn't fall down. She's probably still a Padawan. Well, Maul's also an apprentice. That just means Maul's better. Sorry, girl. Mm. You're on camera, buddy. Put on a good show. You can tell he's thinking about it. Guarantee the the Togretta is still alive. No mercy, no she still has four or five more deaths in her. You are truly powerful. Darth Maul, your training is complete. This is the beginning of the end for all Jedi. Very good. We'll keep those credits running. It's very good. Probably one of the best fan films out there. And they're standing at uh, almost 29 million views. T7 Pro, T7 Productions, I guess. Let's break this down. So from, well, let's start with cinematography. Very beautiful. Uh, looks like they shot in 4K, HD. Um, yeah, they had some, they had some great shots. The, the, uh, the uh, assemble shot where all the Jedi jump into frame is really good. I like that one. Uh, another one I really like is uh, the, uh, the sword fight in the, the canyon uh, looks it looked really cool. You don't see you don't see stuff like that very often and it's it's shot very beautifully. 
Uh, they got some cool drone shots in there. And uh, some of those beach shots were very pretty too. You got that focal point where you have, you know, the sand that's in focus and then the surrounding environment that's out of focus. The shot of her hand falling down and dropping the hilt. That's a really, really pretty shot. It makes me think of that uh, Old Republic cinematic. Uh, yeah, so I, 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 on a scale of one to five, I think I give the cinematography a, I give it a three and a half. It's very good. I do think there were a lot of shots that were just too easy. Uh, like they were just trying to get the shot out of the way. Um, which I understand you're you're in a time crunch, you gotta you gotta get through that shooting day, you know, so I get it. Um, so I put it at three and a half for that reason. Uh directing. It's interesting because there's not a whole lot of actors like interacting beyond uh, the the sword fighting. But in the few moments where they do interact uh, you can tell that there's a, there was a very close attention to detail on how each character acted, especially Maul. Very well directed. Um, he moved and looked just like him. All the little man, like the way he paces, uh, the way he looks at the Jedi, you know, the little side glances. Uh, very, very Maul. Um, and the interaction between him and the and uh, the male Jedi, the, the PewDiePie, Master PewDiePie, um, there's just this very entertaining dynamic between them uh, that you could tell that w was, was very uh, meticulous and thought out. And the final scene between Maul and the girl before Maul kills her, you can, you can tell that Maul is thinking and uh, and that has a lot to do with what the camera's doing, what the actor's doing and uh, what the director wants wants to see and uh, so I give I give directing four out of five uh, acting acting was pretty outstanding I mean like I said the actor for Maul let me see if I can find him in the credits here. The actor who played Maul did incredible. Um, I mean, let's see. Ben, Ben Shama, Shama, Ben Shama. Phenomenal. Did a fantastic job. And all the other, all the other uh, Jedi did pretty well too. But, uh, yeah, Ben, Ben did a, did a great job. I give acting... Uh, two and a half stars, uh, really because um, Maul is obviously the highlight of this film, and he does a fantastic job, and everybody else does fine, uh, but they could have been better. Um, I do like uh, Master PewDiePie. There's something very satisfying about his character, the way he moved, the way he spoke. It was very Qui-Gon, and I think they did that on purpose, and so uh, I commend the actor for putting in that effort. And, uh, and everybody else did, did a good job. They did a good job. Uh, editing. Editing was very good. One thing you need to know about editing is if you don't notice it, it means it's good. Um, if there's any moment where it's just kind of jarring, like you're watching it and it just throws you off and it kind of pulls you out of the story, that's something you really want to avoid. And watching this fan film, I am completely immersed. Uh, there's not a single moment where I feel like I'm being pulled out of the story. Um, yeah, so uh, the editor did excellent, excellent. Let's see, who's the editor here? Uh Sean Boo. Sean Boo, you did an excellent job. 
Um, I'm going to have to check out more of your stuff. So I'm going to give editing five stars. And finally, we have the Star Wars factor. Um, so obviously, this you know, fan films aren't going to be part of any canon, whether it's Legends or the uh, uh, Disney-owned uh, lore. Uh, but at the same time, any you know, when you have a fan film that's put together where the writers specifically integrated it into Legends or canon, uh, so that it doesn't contradict anything. That's always, uh, I feel like it's ideal because uh, when you have a story that just kind of contradicts, obvi- you know, obviously contradicts what, what happens in, in Star Wars lore, it can almost pull you out of the story. Uh, so that said, Maul Apprentice is a big risk uh, because, uh, you know, What this fan film essentially is saying is Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon weren't the first Jedi to uh, fight Sith in over a thousand years. Um, And what it does say is that um, the Jedi Council is either really good at hiding things or they're very bad at keeping track of their Jedi. That's across the galaxy. Um, You know, obviously with all those Jedi dead... People are going to wonder, you know, where the heck are these people? And and uh, they'll investigate. They'll, you know, if they find the bodies, they'll see the lightsaber slashes. And, um, you know, they'll sense the dark side within the vicinity. So, you know, that's a, that is a plot hole. But I do think they do a great job of developing Maul as a character and introducing the idea that, you know, just because... Uh, you know, we didn't hear anything about Maul prior to the Phantom Menace doesn't mean there's some kind of conspiracy going on. Um, so if, if let's just say, uh, Darth Maul Apprentice is a Disney approved fan film and it's part of canon, I, I buy it. You know, I, I would, I would believe that, you know, it, it makes sense. Sure, there's there can be an explanation to the plot holes, but you know, since when has Star Wars not had plot holes, and since when has that not offered up opportunities to fill those plot holes? So, um, on a scale of one to five, I give the Star Wars factor um, three, three out of five. And something else in, that uh, is good to note is that. Um, a big part of Maul's character is the fact that he is just so purely focused on the dark side and the Sith and that aggression and that fury. Like that's, that is everything that defines Maul. So the moment where you can tell, you know, where he's thinking, you know, should I kill this, you know, Jedi girl or should I spare her? That, you know, might offer up some controversy because, everything about Maul is anger, is fury, is Sith. You know, there's, there's nothing about a Sith that's going to show any kind of compassion, uh, towards other beings because they're all about the self. So unless the Jedi had any kind of, uh, benefit to offer Maul, I don't see any reason why he would, uh, even think about sparing the Jedi. So, that is a that's another reason why I bumped down the Star Wars factor to three. Uh, not just because of the risk factor behind all those Jedi being killed, and uh, uh, and how that you know how how the how the Republic handles that sort of a thing, but then also just the the risk of Maul's character being uh, uh, contradicted. Um, but all that to say, uh, this was a fantastic fan film, probably the best fan film ever made. Lightsaber choreograph was just beyond. I mean, it's it's better than some some of the live action stuff we got, and um, it's like I said before, it's very tough uh, choreographing a duel between just two people. Imagine having to choreograph a duel between like four or five other characters. Like that's just insane to me. Uh, so yeah, this 
This fan film's amazing. Uh, so with that said, that's going to round up a, uh, a final score of, let me crunch some numbers here, 10, 15, 18. So that's going to, that's going to give them a score of, uh, 18 out of 25. Uh, so, uh, good job guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, just beautiful film T7 pro. You guys are phenomenal. Um, you guys really set the standard for what, uh, Star Wars fan films should be. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to check out y'all's other work because you guys are, you guys are doing great things. And, uh, yeah. Well, I think that's it for today, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's another fan film that you want me to check out, uh, review, or anything like that. And uh, you guys have a great uh, rest of your day, night, morning, etc., etc. May the Force be with you.